Hello again, traders. Right, um, I thought I'd make a little video about today's um, trades on gold. Um, purely because, uh, well, I haven't made many videos recently. There's a lot of interest in three candle reversals. And this was a classic, classic three candle reversal um, setup. A real, real good one, to be honest with you. So um, what happened this morning was I've, I've set my alarm for uh, 5.45, whatever. Uh, for the H4 bar uh, change over time at 6 a.m. and I ended up being woken up during the middle of the night by a um, really really noisy fox and then owls hooting away so you can't win. Anyway I couldn't go back to sleep so uh, I ended up studying a bit of chart work at uh, just after 5 a.m. early for me nowadays anyway. So um, the H4 bars on gold change over at a different time. I mentioned that I think in yesterday's video. Uh, they're an hour later than the um, the FX pairs, but the FX pairs, uh, dollar in particular, US dollar, tend to drive the market. So if dollar's going up, for example, gold may well be going down a little bit and so on and so forth. So if you have a big, the point being, if you have a massive uh, dollar candle like that say or one not necessarily with a tail on it something like that uh, then um, you could expect it safely to pull back a little bit and as you can see this does and it's always worth noting as well that um, you know you could put fibs on that candle and you'd probably see it come back uh, you know close to the 50% level from the high or um, you know you can eyeball it anyway halfway back so you know, if you want to play it safe, go for the 23% or the 38% or whatever the FIB levels are. don't really believe in FIBs, but they're really handy for um, just guidance. Anyway, getting back to this morning's trade, um, H1. So I'll put a vertical line on where we are as well. Ah, and this indicator, something I've noticed about this, it deletes your levels. So if I put um, my snap to level on the low of that green candle there. The minute I change my time frame I lose it. So it's obviously cleaning the this something in the indicator is cleaning the bars down there, the green line's gone. So I dump the indicator in order to do the charts. Notice I've got an old um, alert on there as well. Um, we can delete that too. I practice what I preach, set alerts all over the place. You know, we might have a little bar like that and I'm expecting it to either go long or short. So I'll just put an alert on the high and the low. And how you do that, just for a reminder, is alert and then you can drag and drop it. Above the price for long alerts, it'll go off now because it's below the price. Oops. Yeah, there. It's the wrong way. So it's telling me I've got, to, I'm above that level. So we'll delete that again. It's easy to Put alerts on and off your charts. So um, vertical line at uh, two hours difference. So that's four. That's five. So this was roughly what I was looking at at five o'clock. Thirty minute candle. That would be the three CR level. Looks like we've lost the three CR indicator as well. I wonder if that deleted those uh, levels. Yeah, there's three CRs going on there now. So let's have a look at the 15. Fifteen minutes here. We've got an internal three CR, or we've got the um, the initial three CR, which should be on that level there. So that's there. That's the penultimate high. That's the ultimate high, and that would be the actual three candle reversal there. Um, Aaron's indicator has picked it up as uh, this one here, but that's the initial one. Um, so remember, I can't see any of this. So I'm whizzing through my time frames. I do look at my 3CR levels manually as well as uh, Aaron's brilliant indicator. I love Aaron's indicator, um, Rebelant 3CR. So once again, that is the, by the looks of it, that's the 30 minute as well. I thought we had two different levels on the 30 and the 5 minute. No, ah, still on the 15 minute, apologies. I never try to rush these things, so apologies if it's, it's annoyingly slow, 
but uh, it's better for some people. I know you can change the speeds on YouTube, speed it up, slow it down, pause. So, um, you know, use those facilities. That's the wrong bar there, actually. That's the penultimate high. That's higher, so that's the ultimate high. That is the 3CR, uh, M33 CR level. For some reason, it's not drawn it on there. Um, M30 low, as you can see. So we've got the M30 low, um, which uh, we had broken through. There was a little pullback. And then I need my H1 low, and that's what I traded, really, the H1 um, formation of the three-candle reversal. So here now you can see Aaron's picked up the correct uh, candle on that as well. Well, it always picks up the correct candle, but you've got what I call the sort of original 3CRs, and then you've got the uh, secondary or internal 3CRs. Uh, I forget the terminology Aaron put into the indicator, but, uh, well, we can have a look at that, actually. Might as well for new, new players. Yeah, you've got all these different settings. Only show the initial, which is what I'm talking about. Track the inner reversals, that's the inside ones I'm talking about. Allow inside bars, you know, play around with these uh, and watch what happens on your charts. I'm not going to give you a way to trade them, you decide what you want to do yourself. The alert is fantastic, I don't talk about that much on Twitter, but um, it is an absolutely fantastic tool uh, when you're on the one minute chart waiting for that final one minute 3CR, because remember, I don't mention this enough on Twitter or in the recent videos, but I I, I go right down to the one minute chart. Um, not so um, routinely now, because we've got the RSI histo, and you know, higher time frames have the power, so we've got this belt and braces scenario. But in the old days, before the, sorry, that's the TMA slope, before the RSI histo, um, I used to actually just watch every pullback, every pullback, right down to the one minute time frame. Cut a few corners now with that, but you do get caught out occasionally, so it's bad practice. Best practice is to follow it every time frame, right down to the one minute. So now we've got our levels drawn. Remember, we couldn't see anything this side of that red candle there. A little bit of movement on that M15 reversal. So now I'm looking at that. And I'm thinking, uh, what shall I do? I can't uh, go long because I've got this uh, M30 situation here. It's all uh, M15 rather. It's already uh, 3CR down. So I would have to cancel that 3CR up. So I'm looking, I'm assuming they're positioning this uh, gold for some sort of activity in the Frankfurt and London Open, which is exactly what you can see there. And um, so, and I mentioned in the tweet on uh, Twitter that, uh, you know, trade what's available and, you know, not an arbitrary number, not because you must make eight or ten pips every day. I took four and a half pips out of this trade. I took about eight out of the long trade and I took about another four and a half pips uh, with the second long trade as well. So I could see the pivot there. I knew my H1 level was there. Now, uh, if you're more aggressive, then you would expect the H1 to get broken and closed through, which it did, and it formed that H1 3CR that we talked about. So this is what I mean when you can trade uh, formation of 3CRs. You can trade, you know, it's no different than 2B reversals trading the formation of a 2B reversal, um, or a 1, 2, 3, lower high or higher low. So, but, you know, we've got rules and that's the beauty. That's what I always wanted because my bad discipline, I had to have rules, solid black and white rules. So that's why I developed the 3CR. So, um, yeah, there we, sorry, I'm looking at the wrong part of the chart. There we have the H1 3CR down. So it blasted through the level quite a long way. No surprises where it went to. It's gone down and tested uh, old resistance to see whether it holds new support. Resistance, especially that green high there, because that has um, that's where price was forced down. And as you can see, if you go onto the lower time frames, I haven't checked this, but it will probably be uh, the situation that it did bounce on that uh, that uh, sort of uh, hammer style bar 
almost to the pip and here we are there it bounced around about here so that was the trade h1 uh, through cr down which at six o'clock then gave us uh, the uh, expected bounce so we're back here that's the bounce bar there that's where i've got my eight and a half pips whatever and um and then what's happened is it's had a little run up again which i timed using the lower time frames i posted that on twitter and then it's just reverted to the three candle uh direction which is what it should be doing because this is now a m15 stroke m5 trend in place swing high low lower high lower low pullback potential continuation so that's what a three candle reversal does that's how we can trade it using multiple time frames and um, and multiple directions as well I always used to coin the phrase we can trade using these things up down and sideways we can trade every um, index commodity stock metals uh, cryptocurrencies you name it price action works the same in every um, instance so thanks for watching have a great weekend and i shall uh, speak to you soon